Hello everyone, and welcome to the Brazilian Grand Prix. So it is of course in Interlagos in Brazil for career mode, the final race of the season. We've been through 19 races in 19 days. Of me having the game not bad at all. I've strived to get this done. I probably will now take a pause after this season and uh, work on other things like scenario mode. And while my engine says that, I'll show you it. There we go. 10% reduction in engine wear. I managed to do the R&D objective this race. So we'll talk about more about what I'm doing next after this video. But for now, we'll look at the teammate challenge. And I'm still kicking his ass. No surprise there. Race strategy then. I'm going to use the op default. I'm going to stick with normal for this race. Go for options on the start. Pin on lap 8 for a set of primes. Setup, as per usual, using the full dry, quick car setup. With two tweaks to brakes, 51-49 for this race, and the gear ratios are very much the similar, same as they've been the last few races. And we're off. Not off the start just yet, but we're off to the grid. Skip a couple of seconds there. Let's well have a look at the grid. And here we go, Red Bull on pole. They will more than likely take the Constructors' Championship this race. Vettel is already the world champion on pole once again. Pretty realistic. Teammate once again at Gano qualified by Rusha there. There's me in the very last position. Gonna go straight to lead. Plus two laps, quite a bit of fuel. It's been a long season. Let's try and head on a high note. We'll give it our best as I build up the revs now and hopefully we can get a good start. Oh, was one of the better starts till I got some wheels in second. But it's still not a bad start at all. I'm gonna dive inside of Charlie Pick. That was close. I'm a bit of a random mood, apparently. I'm just eating cottage pie, perhaps I'll sell it to me. Perhaps I'll do some new cottage pie videos where I eat cottage pie and then I can play up one and really random stuff happens. But anyway, we're coming out down the second straight. We need a bit of curves and dive at the inside of this guy here. I've gone for it. And I'm also going to go for the Force India. It's a bit tight there. It needs to squeeze me massively. Gutierrez rims very wide there. I'm up to P14. Not bad at all. We'll get rid of that. Engines are beating a bit. We'll go to standard now. Pointless using the rich in this sector. It's not going to gain me anything. So I'm going to lunge up the inside of this guy now. I'm we even going to. Use a bit of throttle and get the inside of the Force India. Could have almost had that McLaren then as well, to be fair. A bit wide, but I'm going to bring it back. And he's just flown up my inside. Gutierrez. Absolutely monster in it. I could have dived inside a button there. And he's found a bit wide. Maybe I tapped him there. That's quite often what they do when I tap him. But I don't think I quite did. But maybe I did. I don't know. Anyway, that's P11 now then. And we're going to touch the curb there. Try and get on throttle on the exit. We need to be a bit careful with these tyres. Not like we were in the last race when they went off quite heavily. I'm going to have to go to Rich, defend from Button and try and stay close-ish to Perez. But it's not like at all. And Button is going to be right inside my arse. But luckily, I managed to stay just enough ahead of him. Down to second, turn it in. It just worked rather wonderfully. And I'm going to go to standard again now. He's lots of curves down here. Going to save half for the start finish straight. In fact, I'm going to stay on Rich because they're battling heavily ahead. And they will be very slow into this corner. And hopefully... I can catch them, but not slow enough, are they? Hockenberg, one of my championship rivals there. In P9 by looks at the moment. And I'm going to have to stand on again now. Pointless wasting the fuel. Traditionally, this circuit was fairly hard on fuel. He had a lot of consumption, but I don't know if that's the same in this game or not. As I've managed to close on Perez there. Let's keep it to the, to the tight to the inside on this corner. Because apparently the AI can monster me up the inside, as I learned last lap. Slow it all down nicely. Get it turned in. I'm going to get on the throttle as carefully as I can, but that didn't happen, so I won't say that. I'm going to go to Rich now then, because I'm closer to him this lap than I was last lap. Ran a bit wide. Get on the throttle nice and early, hopefully. Use the rest of my curves now. I hope that I can close in a bit on him. I'm going to try, see if I can serve my curves for next half. I managed to stick with him, which is good news for me. And I might be able to overtake him here. I'm gaining a lot on him. Gaining, 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 gaining. I'm going to go up his inside. And I managed to get him. Let's so I can get it stopped, which I can and unfortunately I'm not going to get DRS on the car ahead and Perez is going to get it on me so I need to go to Rich now use a bit of curves, said I'm going to try and save it but since he's going to get DRS I haven't really got a choice DRS was traditionally really powerful down this straight but I'm going to battle him behind as I've gone deep, gone deep, gone really quite deep almost off the circuit but not quite just over a second hold at the moment and that moves me up to P10 that move of course into the points which is wonderful wouldn't mind getting a couple of points this race after the abysmal last race that was in America very wide and again, too deep there. It's not been a great lap at all, is it? That's allowed me to, unfortunately, fall back from Hulkenberg. I need him to battle now to catch him, but I'm not too far off the pace, am I? That was a much better exit there. Short-shifted and was very careful on the throttle, which allowed me to have a decent exit. 
breaking very late there. Exactly Please rest my curls now and go to Rich to try see if I can sneak into his slipstream. Maybe the CTRS, but I'm pretty sure I'm too far back for that. Well, I think I'm getting a little bit of slipstream, which is good. Uh, didn't get DRS. But I'm going to try and break late now, see if I can get DRS. I need to bring in a nice to the apex, which I've done. I'm not going to get DRS here because that's the detection point there. I'm going to stick to Rich for a minute just to see if I can't close him down. I'll leave too much curves down here. That was my bad as Sutil now behind. Uh, I'm going to say to Rich actually for a sec. Breaking late. Get it turned in nicely, just under a second behind him now. I actually managed to gain in on him in that sector despite him getting DRS on that last straight. Needs to push this middle set now, going to stand it though, putting this squeeze in rich really. Doesn't give you that much advantage. Take lots of curb on the inside there as much as you can. And that was a horrible line through there. The exit is more important than the entry, and I did the exact opposite. And I don't think. I think that's Scrooge on ahead, who is one of my championship rivals, but I think in that position he's not going to be able to beat me, which is good. Beard occurs here to try and stay close. A good final corner, which is a corner I traditionally suck at, but that wasn't bad at all. That was very good, actually. I could have saved a bit more curves, and I would have been a lot closer to him able to get a bit of slipstream, but I should still hopefully get the RS. Well, I'm now already on Optimal. I've used a lot of fuel, but I'm just trying to stick with these guys. Going to go to standard hours. I did get the RS. Be nice and close to them and hopefully get the RS a bit wide there though. I like to take a different line to them. Which cost me time up until this point here. I do indeed get the RS again, but not gonna be near, nearly enough close enough close enough to him. But I'm on him now. Which has that got planned? Too deep, too deep, never got to my apex, gonna be wide. No, that's costing me time. He needs to not do that, he needs to be nice and close to get some sips on him and try and stick with him. Which is not what I've done. And actually we're getting held up by a Ferrari here. Probably Massa. No offense, Massa. Bit wide there, though. Short shifting, trying to get on the power. So difficult in that corner. Especially in this new game. Too deep. But I managed to just about slow it down. And I'm closer again this lap. Despite using a bit more standard mix. Oh no, way too much curb. That cost me quite heavily, but hopefully I'll still be close enough. Get DRS and the curves help me. I think I'm going to try and save my curves next time if I can. I've stayed to standard this lap, which is helping me with fuel. Look at this. Not got bad straight line speed in this race for once. And my tyres aren't too bad, they're okay. I'm not going to use any curves down here, just wait for that long back straight. Hopefully, again, then add a bit of oversteer on the exit there, which I think was in fifth gear. See if I can get it slowed down, I can get it slowed down nicely for that corner this, this lap. And once again, nicely missed the extreme, and hopefully my tyre isn't so bad that I'm not going to be able to get him. Down the next straight. It's these sort of breaking zones that I gain a lot on them. Look at that, nice and close now. But it's this sort of long corner that I lose on them. Look how much I lost there. A lot of time. If I gain it again in this breaking zone. And too wide though. Hard on throttle now. Close to again this lap, I believe. I'm going to go to Rich, ready to overtake him, hopefully. Down this next straight. And I'm on a bad corner, but I'm too far back, I think. I'm going to use all my curves anyway. Well, I have to. It's that finish straight's coming up. And although I'm monstering him now, all those all that curves. Look like I might be able to do it. And here we go. We've done pretty much. Hopefully, I can sneak DRS on Grosjean as well. On the exit there. I might even pit now, try and get the undercut on them, see if I can't jump these guys because I don't think I've got the outright pace to be able to just beat them as they're battling ahead. Going to be slow, which is the R&D really quite slow, which is good because that's allowed me to close back up to them. And again they're going to be battling I think, no they're not. Massa closed the door. Too much curb. And again managed to get nice and close to this corner. I can't get on the throttle, look how close Hulkenberg is to me. Okay, looks like I can't get on the throttle now, I'm going to pick this lap I think. Despite the fact I think I probably could make it through them on the track. An advantage in the pits is always good. That's what I want, I want 
primes. I'm too far back anyway, so I think I would start falling back from now. So here we go then. Boxing this lap, as I said. One lap early, but yeah, one lap early. Hopefully I'll be able to jump them though. It's looking good, isn't it? Look like I've got the pace. Not the leader's pace for sure, but the pace enough to be right with those guys. Did not expect that. This is a circuit I've traditionally not been very quick at. So not going to complain. Three for one second stop and a decent stop by the case one guys. And hopefully I'm not going to be in that traffic that's just there. I haven't actually taken this pit in this game. I managed to get over it nicely though. It's not allowing me to go full throttle now it is. Almost a little bit wide there. A little bit of a gap to the cars ahead, which is good. No I'm not really to rich. So a little bit of a gap that I probably can close up just nicely. Come the end of the lap. It's Vern 2.5 seconds at the moment. That should be enough because hopefully he'll pit next lap. If not, be the lap after. Definitely more grip from these tyres. Look at that all over the kerb. Despite taking more speed in there. I'm thinking that I should be ahead of both of those cars. I was battling with Grosjean and Massa. I'm being a bit careful on these tyres though because I don't want to pit one up early. Obviously, I don't want them to go off by the end. They should be okay. But it'd be a nightmare if I manage to get ahead of them and then make the tyres go off anyway. Wasn't a great corner. Touched in the kerb there. Gained half a second that middle sector on the car ahead. So not huge amounts, but enough, hopefully. And he does pit. That gives me a nice clear track. And there's a lots and lots of people in the pits. Breaking pretty late. Turn it in. And there is cars actually in the pits, but... I think that's a Mercedes. Interestingly. I'm not going to catch him unless he starts battling against Rosberg, so I've definitely gained. No doubt about that. 1.5 to Rosberg ahead. I've definitely gained quite a bit, haven't I? Because I was nowhere near him before. And he's battling with some cars ahead of him. I have said that. Actually, that might be the cars I was battling with before, so actually, I think I might have lost time. Yeah, there's a Ferrari and Lotus, unless that happens to be Alonso and Raikkonen, which I don't think it is. It's just because Rosberg's lost out. I think I've lost out as well, though, unfortunately. Deep there. 1.4 at the moment to the cars ahead. I'm going to use all of my curves and try and go rich this way, even though I can't really afford to. It's a long tunnel though. I can't really afford to. There's a couple of guys pit there. They're still battling ahead. They're slowing each other down wonderfully. Which they do indeed. Break a bit late. They were locked inside wheel a little bit. They still slow. That means I will get DRS too much curb. He's rich now. And lots of curves. I should be able to get past them. Use all, mm, no, I'm not using all my curves. And it is Raikkonen and Rosberg. And um, come on. And look at that. I managed to get past both of them. I break earlier than I normally would bet. To make sure I can make the corner. And I could indeed nice and easily. I suppose it's a P5 then. P5. So it was indeed two different cars. Ferrari. I don't know who the Ferrari was actually. Because I think he pitted. But I'm now going to be holding them up. As long as I don't lose the position to them, I don't really care. I did not expect to get this far up. I expected to just about overtake the cars of Batman with, and that would be it. But I think I must have lost some of the pits. Oh, just to get on the 42 early. I have to use the rest of my curves, which isn't a lot. And Rich. And I hope that I can stay ahead of them. I think I should be okay. I think they're a little bit too far back. But I'm not going to be able to use Rich every lap. Indeed, they're going to be too far back. Get it turned in. Get on the floor nice and early. I'm going to go to Rich because I wouldn't normally use curves. I want to try and save my curves for the next straight, see if I can pull away. No, I'm not going to be close enough, luckily. Not far off, though. And that's allowed him to slow right up, and Rosberg's managed to overtake him. Hopefully, I can pull away now. I'm going to push, see if I can. Pretty sweet line through there. Full throttle nice and early. Breaking late. It's a little bit too late though. Just going to lose a lot of time to them of course. Running very wide. Just trying to get on the throttle. As early as they do. Breaking now turning in. And now I haven't really gained any time. Right? I've just burned my tyres and not actually gained anything. Which is a bit annoying. No, 
no, no chance of overtaking them, but it's okay, I can still taste stamina though, because I managed to save all my curves. Look at that, I managed to pull a nice gap on them. Nice enough, anyway. Still look pretty close to me come the first corner, but not close enough. Again, he's going to be pretty close. I'm going to use some of my curves this time instead of Rich. I can't afford to keep using Rich. I'm still an optimal. That's about it. And he's going to be close again, but not close enough. A bit wide there, but got away with it. And Bob was going to be very close coming up to this corner, but not close enough again. I heard him back out of it there. Wouldn't have worked. I would have just turned in on him, and that would have been the end of his race. Trying to get on foot all early through that corner, it's so difficult to be five. I can't believe this. I just thought I was going to, oh no, that's cost me time. I thought I was going to struggle for points in this race, but I somehow managed to be right up in P5, but it's going to be difficult to defend it to the end. Got quite a few laps left to go, six more laps to be, to be precise. Come on, pull away. I need to pull away, I've actually used Rich, but I've got away with it. He's not going to be close enough to overtake, but he's going to be pretty close again. Wow, closing on me pretty quickly, but again, not quick enough. And that's worked quite nicely. Another hundred occurs down here, I think. And I'm going to go straight to the defensive and hope that he doesn't sneak up on the inside. Get that out of it there. Lost a bit of time, but not enough so that I'm safe at all. I think I was using the curse up here. They seem to gain quite a bit on me. Staying in fifth that lap. I know we go down to fourth, but I didn't that time. I mean, need to make sure I can always keep it tight there because there's so much faster than me around there. Faster run a little bit wide. They would just fly up inside, no problems. Trying to unfold as well as I can. He's lost a bit of time to be an exit there. But probably not enough to get away from my DRS. No, just six tenths. Bit of over to an exit there. He's actually closer to me. He had a mad final corner. Got to use Rich again, even though I can't afford to still. I have to stay on Rich this time. 11.4 for Hamilton. Not quick than me. Maybe about 1.5 seconds, less than usual. Just about managed to slow it down and get to the apex. Oh, we'll use too much curse down here. Should go over there and not have to use Rich. It's going to be very close to me, but not close enough. Too deep there, missed my apex, very wide on the exit. I'm going to have to defend up here, I'm going to have to defend. Never going to work though, luckily. And they're not quite close enough to ever get me into this corner, but my braking's pretty good in there anyway. Compromise line all the way through here. Finally I can sort my line out from this corner. Was there once again? Loose horse coming to me there. Major Tassi running on full revs now. Not wanting to hear Mr. Engineer. Once again, he's closed on me hugely. I'm going to try and stay stand up this straight. I might just about get away with it. Yep, I should just about get away with it. He's going to be very close to me, closer than he has been. I'm going to go to the defensive. I had to that time. Bit of curves, but don't use that much. He's fallen back for me a little bit. So, that was going to stay ahead for another lap. Tires are starting to get a bit warm, but not too bad. Not so bad that I'm particularly worried about again. Miss my apex set. This one's again very close to me. I have to defend again, but no, he's okay. He's not near enough for me, and I compromise my line there, though. I try to defend and wide. I need to make sure I start breaking myself into there because that will just give him an easy pass to overtake. Like I said, these tyres are not good. P5, I want to keep P5. So once again, he keeps losing loads of time to me there, but then I'll go back there and then he just canes it all back. Easy to just find a corner. It's always been one of my weakest corners of the whole game. And I'm going to have to go to Rich again just to make sure of it. 
going to be a bit closer than he was last lap. And minus one now. Go to lean at some point, but I'm okay for this lap, this straight. Too much curb there. Man, I should be okay down this straight though. Just about. I'm going to have to go to lean, not yet, at the top of the hill I'll go lean. Fifth place would be awesome in my final race of the season. And he's close to me again. He must use some curves up there. He's going for it on the outside. But that won't work because I want you out of space if you try that. i have to go to lean now. Try and conserve the fuel to get to the end. We've still got a few laps left to go. He is wide there. Cost him time, a bit deep there. I have ten to tendency of getting a better exit than done then. I'm still on minus one. I think fuel could be causing me problems in this race now. So I'm hitting the curb there and unfortunately I'm not fuel to Rich again. I'm gonna have to, he's gonna be right on me. Standard out. I think he's gonna be close enough if I defend you should, I should be alright. Indeed I am. With a bit of defending. A whole bit of oversteer there on the apex didn't help me. Trying to use less and less curves for that last corner. And leave him a bit of room outside but then take it up because he backed out of it. Stay to stand again. They must use curves on that exit. They gain a lot of time on me. Back to lean now. This is not good. I've gone to Optimal now, though. I'll say this fuel situation is not good, but then I went to Optimal. And that rear tyre just stepped out of me. That surprised me a bit. Hopefully, I'm okay for tyres. Well, I'm not great, but hopefully, I'll manage. Look at that queue behind me. It's a queue and a half, isn't it? Big concern at the moment, those tyres, really. I'm not able to get my foot down on the exit, but I managed it a bit better that time, hopefully. I can say to stand and have this straight, that will help my fuel situation quite a bit. I might have to go lean, uh, rich, sorry, next straight anyway, but he actually closes in on me when he gets DRS. Quite a lot. This is the final lap of the race. Have you just really noticed I've just been trying to drive the car. A bit of curse here. I should be okay now. I think I'll go lean the middle sector just in case, so I can go rich then on the final straight. Deep there again. I'm actually on throttle quite early though. It's a bit further back from me this time. I'm not going to defend. I think he must have been on Richard Fort. Because all of a sudden he's not half as close to me in the straights as he was. Maybe outside of me there. Might have been. I don't think he was, but maybe he was. As Sebastian Vettel comes along the cross line to take another win. And this should now be me up to fifth position. Taking the fifth position. Oh, bit of oversteer on the exit. Don't want to be doing that. I'm still only knows I should now be able to go rich to the end from about now. Now we just defend the position to the, to the line. But he's very close behind me. He's all of my curves. Luckily, I saved lots of curves, or he probably would have got me before the line. I'm now going to go to standard just in case. Don't want to run out of fuel just before the end. And there we go then, as I come across the line now to take fifth position in the Brazilian Grand Prix. Awesome result. My one lap early pit there helped me undercut them big time and I came out a few seconds behind Rosbo but managed to close the gap down with it while they're battling. I managed to get all the way up to fifth position. Really happy with that. That's a solid fifth place and ten points. Good job. There we go. So my rivals then Grosjean scored one point. Button scored none. Perez scored none. So that means then I will keep. Let's have a look. My eighth position. Like there we go. Take a moment to thank you for a memorable season. Well, there we go. Thank you for a memorable season. That's new. That didn't happen last time. So, 94 points then. 94 points in a highly competitive car. Mostly that was from kind of eighths, wasn't it? I had one win, of course. That was 25 points. That helped a lot. A couple of sort of good positions, fifths and whatnot. I think I had a fourth. Um, but a lot of eighths, wasn't it, really? And a couple of non-scores even. So, this game is a lot harder, which is good to see. So, yeah, indeed, their eighth position I managed to hold on to. Constructors, there we go. Sixth place. That is a big, big result for catering. Big result. 54 points were ahead of uh, 
Sal in the end, and only about 50 points or so back from McLaren. So not a lot at all. So we'll watch celebrations then. So like I said, I will now probably take a bit of a break from career mode and um, do things like scenario mode. Just do a few different videos. Uh, now we've managed to bosh for a season. Like I say, one video per day. I've really kept up the pace for that because... I saw that people were enjoying the first couple, so I thought, well, let's just keep doing that every single night. And uh, taking quite a lot of effort from me, a lot of planning, but I've managed to do it. So that's good. We've managed to bosh out one season already. Like I said, I'll take probably a week or two break from career mode, and then we'll see it return. So there we go then. Here's the stats for this season. No drivers or constructors championships, obviously. Fastest laps, none. Pole positions, one. Oh, of course, that was in Australia, wasn't it? I got that pole and then decided not to qualify. Average finishing position was 11. So actually just outside the points of my average, average finishing position. Wins, none. Well, that's not right. I won in Monza. <laughs> that's wrong, but okay. Points, 94. Rivals beaten. See, interestingly, it didn't ask me to select a rival. I never selected a rival, um, which I think must be a glitch. I'll submit that to Comaster and see what they say. Teammate challenges won. One. Of course, I kicked his ass, didn't I? Objective achieved 19 out of 38. So most of well, all that will be quality. It's exactly half I've done that. So I've achieved every single race objective, but not... Uh, no, I must have achieved one or two quality objectives. Career XP, 44,850, and rank 12. That's my level. So continue then. Well, I've only got one offer now. I've just declined quite a few, and that is the K2 offer. So I will accept that one. I got offered a seat. Where did I get offered? I got offered Marusha. Uh, I got offered Toro Rosso, Force Indo, I think. Sauber, maybe. Um, maybe Williams as well. So I've got a few different offers. Um, Mid-season offer from Toro Rosso it was. But uh, nothing decent, and like I said, I'm going to stick with Caterham just to see where we can get them in the uh, constructors. I was disappointed that I didn't in the last game, because uh, they had a pretty quick car next season. So now I'm still in the team, as you can saw from a shot. And once again, because we're in the season, I will show you the emails and stuff as well. I expect that to be much exciting note. Here we go then. So just race information mobile, and that is it. Boring. What's this? Exclamation mark. Teammate challenge will come out during this weekend. Yeah, fair enough. So there we go then, so that was the first season of career mode. I will, um, like I said, take a couple of weeks break from career and we'll do things like scenario mode, perhaps some online races, something a bit different. Um, I'll use the time I've been using for career to do a few different game modes and uh, hopefully it'll be good as I'm first driver there as well. That wasn't happen last season. But anyway, I thank you for watching all season long. Bye-bye.